Hello, in this Java programming video, we are going to take a look at the hash table data structure. So the hash table data structure is pretty similar to some of the other data structures in that it has a key value pair sort of you know, scenario. And let me show you how to implement it. So you're going to want to import java.util.asterisk like so. And now you're going to want to put hash table. Like I said, hash table. And I want to call it t equals new hash table. And I realize the constructor is the wrong name, or wrong caps, I should say. And now to add something to it, just do t dot put. And for the key, I'm going to put a one. For the value, I'm going to put one, but in word form. So it would just be like numbers essentially. So two, three, four, two, three, four. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is create an enumeration. Enumeration. And this is what we'll use to be able to loop over it. And actually, before that, let, let, let's just you know, print it out. See what's going to happen if we put it in a print line. So put it in the print line. Put T in there. There we go. You know, it, it prints them out. So, but it is in reverse order. So just, you know, bear that in mind. So it is, you know, sort of like a last in, first out situation. And um, we could also do like T dot. To get the object at a particular index as an extra task only to you know experiment with that yourself but yeah let's continue what I was doing so create an enumeration I'm gonna call it e equals t dot keys like so and we can loop over it by doing while e dot has more elements so while there's still more elements to you know go through and we can print it out so we can do so what we want to do is create a string and I'm going to call this key equals sign it, cast it to the string so we can just use it when we actually get the value for next element like so. And now if we do a system dot print ln and we are going to print out key plus and the final one is just going to be um actually i'll show you the dot get method so get and the key we're using is key so we get a unique key every single time run it there we go so it's printed it out and honestly that's it for hash tables that's how you use it if you have any questions feel free to reach out i will provide a link with this video that will show you more functionality of hash tables so you know have a look at that and I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome Java video.